हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 7.1 सो हियर द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम नंबर 11 एक्सप्रेस द फॉलोइंग परसेंटेज एज फ्रैक्शन सो हियर फर्स्ट वन इज 356 परसेंटेज सो दैट वन इक्वल टू इफ राइट डाउन इट्स वेरी इजी 356 by 100 okay so it's divided by 5 it becomes here sorry divided by 4 it becomes 25 and this one here 89 so that means 89 by 25 you can also change it into middle term you can also convert it this one in mixed fraction now next one next one here two whole 1 by 2% That means this one here five by two percentage. So five by two percentage means five by two by hundred. That means you can write down five by two hundred. Okay, and that one equal to one by forty. Now number three, number three here sixteen whole two by three percentage. That means you have to first convert it. So it will be here fifty by three percentage. So that one equal to you can write down 50 by 300 because three multiply with 100 it becomes 300. That one equal to one by six. Okay. Now the next one number two. So here number two one express the following fractions as percentage. First one is three by two. So as here three by two. So if you want to convert it into percentage, then three by two into hundred, and that one equal to here 50. So that means 150 percentage. Now number two, number two here 9 by 20. So that imply you can write down 9 by 20 into 100. So it becomes 5. That means here 45 percentage. Last one also one whole 1 by 4. Then you have to multiply 100 with this one, and you will get your answer. Now next one number three. In number three, express the following fraction as decimals. Then express the decimal as percentage. So first one here, number one, three by four. Okay. So first you have to convert this one into decimal, and it will be here zero point seven five. Okay, zero point seven five. Now you have to convert this decimal number into percentage. That means here zero point seven five into hundred. That one equal to seventy five percentage. Now next one. 5 by 8. So first you have to convert this one into decimal number. So 5 by 8. That means here 0.625. Okay. I repeat here 5 by 8 means you can write down 0.625. Now change it into percentage. So again multiply with 100. It becomes 62.5 percent. Here the third one. Third one is 3 by 16. So that means you have to divide three by sixteen. I hope you can do it. So this one here, zero point one eight seven five. Now convert it into per sorry percentage. So again multiply with hundred. So eighty five. Sorry, eighteen point seven five. That one is your answer. Okay. Now next sum number four. So here in sum number four, express the following fraction as decimals. Then Correct to four decimal places. Remember that. Then express the decimal as percentage. So first one here two by three. So as here two by three, if you divide this one, so first point it will be zero. Then six three is a eighteen again twenty. Then again it's eighteen again twenty. So again eighteen it's again twenty like this way. Okay. So as here correct up to you know that four decimal places. Okay. So that means here your answer will be 0.666 in this way, or the last answer you can write down 0.667 also because as the last number is greater than five, so your answer will be here 0.6667. Okay, now you have to convert this one into what? Into percentage. So that means you have to multiply hundred with this one, so it will be here 66.67 percentage. Remember that. Now next one here some number four two that is five by six. So five by six equal to you can write down zero point eight three three three. Okay dot dot dot. So now here your answer will be 
zero point eight three 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 into hundred and that one equal to eighty three point three three percentage. Now next here the last one number three. Number three here four by seven. So four by seven means zero point five seven one four up to four decimal. So here zero point five seven one four into hundred. And that one equal to 57.14 percent as your answer. Clear. Now let's move on to sum number five. Express the following ratio as percentage. So as here first one is 17 is to 20. So 17 is to 20 means you can write down this one as 70 by 20. Now you have to change into percentage. So here it will be five. That means 85 percent. It's very easy. Now the third one, third one here, 93 is to 80. Okay, that means here 93 by 80 into 100. 0, 0 cancel out, it's 2, 5, 5 and that one 4. That means here, here 93 into 5 divided by 4. Your final answer will be here 116.25 percent. Okay, 116.25. Now next sum number 6. Here sum number 6 express the following percentage as decimal. So here first one is 20 percentage. Okay, 20 percent. 20 percent means you can write down 20 by 100. So that one equal to 2 by 10. Now 2 by 10 means it's 0 by 2. Very easy. Next one. Here 2 percent. 2 percent means 2 by 100. So that one equal to 0 0.02. Now the third one third one is 3 whole 1 by 4 percent okay that means here 13 so 3 4 is here 12 and 1 13 by 4 clear so it's 13 by 4 then here to write down here if you convert it into uh, decimal so that means 13 by 4 again 1 by 100 as here percent that means here 13 by 400 okay so your answer will be here 0 0.0325 okay 0 0.0325 now next sum number seven find the value of here the first one 27 percent of rupees 50 that means first you write down rupees 50 then 27 percent means 27 by 100 so that one equal to 2 now 27 by 2 that one equal to 13.5 then number two Number two here 25 kg and then here percentage is 6 whole 1 by 4. 6 whole 1 by means 25 by 4. Okay. 6 whole 1 by 5, 25 by 4 and percentage means again you have to write down 100 in the denominator. So here it becomes 4 that means here 25 by 16. Okay. So you can write down this one 1 whole 9 by 16 kg as your answer. Now next sum number 8 1. What percent is 300 gram of 2 kg? Okay, remember that 300 gram of 2 kg. So as you know 2 kg that one equal to 2000 gram. Okay, and as here 300 gram then you can write down 300 by 2000 into 100. Okay, then 0 0 cancel out. So that one equal to 15 gram okay 15 gram is your answer sorry this one not 15 gram here it's 15 percent extremely sorry for that this one is 15 percent now number two number two here rupees 7.50 of rupees 6 okay so as here rupees 7.50 means 750 paisa and rupees 6 equal to 600 paisa that means here you write down 750 by 600 into 100. So that one equal to 750 by 6. Okay. 750 by 6. That one equal to 125%. Now next sum number 9. What percent of first one here 50 kg is 65 kg. Okay. It's very easy. That means here you can write down 65 by 50 into 100. So that one equal to 2. That means here 130 kg. Now number 2. Number 2 here rupees 9 of rupees 4. 
okay sorry rupees 9 is rupees 4 that means here you write down rupees 4 by 9 into 100 so that one equal to 400 by 9 that means 44 whole 4 by 9 percent okay 44 whole 4 by 9 percent sorry the previous one also percent not the kg okay okay now the last one sum number 10 so guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel so here in sum number 10 if 16 whole 2 by 3 percent of a number is 25 then find the number okay so as here number into 16 whole 2 by 3 okay that means here 16 whole 2 by 3 means what it's here 50 by 3 so 50 by 3 and percent means again 100 so that one equal to 25 clear so here 50 it's 2 that means here number into 1 by 6 that equal to 25 so the number equal to 25 into 6 okay so the number equal to 25 into 6 and that one equal to 150 as your answer it's very easy or you can also let here the number be x then x into 50 by 300 that equal equal to 25 so from that x equal to 150 now the next one here 13.25 percent of a number is 159 so let here number be x so x into here 13.25 by 100 that one equal to here 159 so x equal to 159 into 100 by 13.25 so that one equal to again 100 so as here 159 clear 159 into 100 into 13 uh, 1325 so 1325 divided by 25 it becomes 53 okay and that one equal to 4 now 53 into 3 it becomes 159 so here 3 into 4 it's 12 and double 0 so 1 to double 0 is your answer